Hello, TUFSD families. We understand that this has been a very challenging time for all of us since COVID-19 began in March of 2020. As a parent myself, I also appreciate that many of you may be feeling vulnerable and nervous as you try to make the best decisions for your children and the entire family. Since May, the district has been very busy planning for multiple scenarios as this pandemic has changed the way in which schools have been able to educate our students. At the same time, we continue to revise our plans as we receive guidance from New York State and the Department of Health. We're reaching out to you today because we want to ensure that everyone understands that the district is offering two different models for the school year. And we need each family to choose which of the two options they prefer for their children. These are the options that were described in the survey that was sent out to all families in the district Wednesday afternoon. Let me start by explaining each option and then I will provide additional information about each one. Option one is our hybrid model. In this model, students will be divided into one of two groups, which we will refer to as a cohort. They will be cohort A or cohort B. Students in the A cohort will attend school in person on Mondays and Tuesdays, while students in the B cohort will attend in school on Thursday and Fridays. When the A cohort is in person, the B cohort will access their class virtually through the use of the Google Classroom and document cameras. They will be receiving live instruction and attendance is mandatory for both in-person and remote days. On Wednesdays, all students will participate in live remote lessons as well as work on activities independently. Deep cleaning will also take place on Wednesdays when students are learning from home. We will plan on minimizing student movement throughout the school day and enforcing social distancing and the wearing of face masks as part of our health and safety protocols. Option two is the remote learning option. In this model, students will not come into the buildings at all. Rather, they will follow their daily schedule and access their class virtually through the use of Google Classroom and document cameras. They will not be assigned to a specific cohort because they will not participate in any in-person instruction. Students will participate in the lessons that are streamed from the classroom and will be expected to complete all assignments just as those students who are attending in the hybrid model. Again, I want to reiterate that attendance is mandatory for choosing the remote model. The remote model will also include asynchronous lessons, which means that lessons are recorded and sent to students along with some independent work. As with students attending the hybrid model, time with the teacher will be available. I do want to be clear that there are inherent limitations in the remote model as compared to the hybrid model, which allows for some in-person learning. The main limitation is that students will not be able to interact with their peers or teachers in the physical classroom. I would now like to go through a few more important points that may help inform your decision. First, all students will be given a schedule to follow that outlines the daily lessons and opportunities for live instruction and interaction with their teacher and peers. Second, all students will receive the same content as they will be following the same schedule, regardless of whether they are learning in school or at home. Next, learning expectations will be shared in the learning from home guide to be sent home prior to the start of school. Furthermore, social emotional learning will be a priority for all students and staff. Students will participate in a range of learning activities to reduce anxiety, re-engage with their peers, and learn the very necessary coping strategies. And finally, all students will be given a Chromebook as well as Wi-Fi as needed. Now let me go back to the survey that everyone received on Wednesday. We understand that this is a very short turnaround, but we need parents to indicate their choice by this coming Sunday night at midnight. That's August 16th. This timing is to allow the schools to create student schedules and teacher assignments for the start of the school year. 
If you choose the remote learning option for your family, you will be contacted by your child's school so that they can confirm your choice and share the remote learning expectations agreement with you. We are an incredibly strong community. I know that we will continue to support one another during this very challenging time. As a district, we will rise by lifting others. As a parent, I appreciate the situation that we are in. Please continue to reach out to district staff with any questions or concerns that you may have. I know that this is a very important decision for families to make. There is no precedence for the plans we are making. And you have our commitment that we will continue to work through issues as they arise and address any concerns which are shared with us. Thank you again for your partnership, your support, and most importantly, your trust in the public schools of the Tarrytowns. Despite the challenges and uncertainties, we are looking forward to a great year and can't wait to see your children again.